Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be the next in my series of must-have products for spring, and today is going to be all focused on lipsticks. So if you want to see what I recommend for spring, summer, then keep watching. Alright guys, so first of all, I have to say if I look a little bit washed out, which I look in the viewfinder and I feel like I do. I'm sitting in front of my window to get that natural light. Um, this is a first for me, so I hope that this works okay, but I apologize in advance if I look a little bit washed out. Also, today is Memorial Day. I'm not sure when this video will go up, but to anyone out there that has family members, loved ones, friends that are in the military, I just want to say thank you. Uh, Memorial Day is something that is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, my father served 35 years in the military and this day gets me so emotional every time. Um, I just want to say thank you so as we're out there celebrating with our friends and our family, please remember that it's so much more than just hot dogs and barbecues and cookouts and fun on the lake. Um, there's a reason that we're able to do all of those things and it's because of our men and women in the military so thank you so much and I am so grateful for everything that you guys do for us. Alright so moving on to the purpose of this video is to share with you guys my top uh, lipstick and lip gloss picks for spring and summer. So when I thought about this I kind of if you guys saw my video that I did on my blushes I did a little bit of in between bright and fun colors to the more muted neutral colors because for spring and summer is when I really start to experience with colors and it could be on my eyes, it could be on my cheeks, it could be on my lips and so I wanted to provide nude options for both um, blushes and lipsticks. So the first one that I want to um, talk about is one that I recently got but I'm absolutely in love with it and just so you guys know this is also going to be a try on. So right now I have nothing on my lips and then um, I'm going to share with you guys and show you what these products look like on my lips. So the first one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay, I think it's called Park Avenue, yeah, it's called Park Avenue Princess and this is, it's a lipstick and I say that with like a sense of hesitation because it feels like a lip balm. It literally feels like a chapstick. The packaging, I have to say, I'm not in love with. I love the look of it, but it's like a like a cardboard. Like, don't get this wet. Honestly, you guys, it feels like a tampon package. That might be a little bit TMI, but that's what it feels like. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. And when I put this on in the store, it did a couple things. One... It gave me that your lips but better look in a nude way, if that makes sense. So it made them look like just plumper, fuller, prettier. If you're looking for that every day, I've done my blush and my eye makeup and you want something nude but maybe not a lipstick, this is a perfect option. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put it on for you guys right now and show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so this is what this looks like. I have no lip liner on. This is literally me just putting the lipstick on and you can see that it's pretty nude. It gives you that kind of nuded out look without, in my opinion, being too nude. Um, it smells like, <laughs> as I try to smell my lips, <laughs> it smells like a, a, a minty peppermint kind of smell. It feels really good like chapstick, so it's not something that's going to bother you or even require a compact when you put it on. I mean, literally, you can just put this on your lips. If you're looking for that nude color because you've got the brightness in your cheeks or in your eye makeup, this is a perfect alternative. Highly recommend this. I feel like it, it smells good, it tastes good, it looks good, so it's really a great option for spring. Okay, guys, my next pick is this new lip gloss. Well, it's new to me, I should say. Um, from Urban Decay, it's the Urban Decay Naked, and this one is called Freestyle. And I don't know why I was drawn to these lip glosses. I was looking for, I was actually looking at Lipstick Queen's, I think it's called Queen Bee, and it's called like the Honey Lipstick, and it leaves this gold kind of shimmer on your lips, which I thought would be beautiful for summer. They were out of it though at Ulta. They've been out of it now for like two, three weeks that I've been there. So I was looking for alternatives and actually liked this one better. 
Um, this is by Urban Decay. Again, like I said, it's called Freestyle. It's a lip gloss. I have nothing on my lips, and I'm going to show it to you guys right now. But what I love about this is that it's another kind of alternative to the nude lip gloss. So here's what it looks like. Okay, guys, so here's Freestyle by Urban Decay. You can see that it is, uh, I have no lip liner on with it, but it's very shiny. It feels very moisturizing on your lips. It gives you that really pretty shine and nude lip. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But you have like a nude lip, but a very pretty shine without being too much. So again, you can wear this literally with any look, and I feel like it's going to look good. Um, so I highly recommend this. You don't need a mirror or anything to put this on. It, oops, as I spill some out on me. It is just a doe foot applicator, very easy. It feels very moisturizing. Urban Decay has some of the best lipsticks that I've ever tried and so if you're interested in them I highly recommend this one because again it goes with everything. So let me take this off and I will show you guys my next pick. Okay guys so to actually save time I went ahead and applied my next lipstick choice and this is the Tarte Lip Surgeons Lip Cream and Serene Lip Cream and Serene. This is what it looks like. It's one of those uh, pencil forms pencil forms? I don't know what I'm trying to say. And um, I just put this on. I don't have any lip liner on with it and I kind of just outlined my lips and put it on. It's a beautiful nude pinky peach and it smells like mint. Um, and again this is another one where you really do not need a mirror to apply because to me in the spring and summertime you're at the lake, you're out with friends and family, I don't want to be sitting there with like a lip liner and trying to outline my lips and make sure everything's perfect, I don't have time for that. So to me it's all about simplicity and really easy to work with colors and this is another one where it's more on the nude side, it does have a peachy nude tone to it. So. Um, it's one of those that's going to go with everything. Okay guys, my next pick is from Urban Decay again. And this is their lip gloss in Fail Bait. This is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. It has a mid-tone pinky uh, color to it. It goes on really easy. This is a lip gloss. And it has a doe foot applicator. It it doesn't really oh, touch my nose. Oh. It doesn't really have a smell to it. It's not too sticky. It's very moisturizing. I've worn this a couple times on its own, like I have it right now. I don't have anything on with it. No lip liner, um, no lipstick. I've also worn it over lipsticks, and it's absolutely beautiful. So it can take a nude lipstick to have a little bit more of a pink tone if that's what you're looking for. And I highly recommend this color because again, it's very simple and easy to wear in spring and summer and it adds a little bit of color to your lips. Okay guys, so my next pick is by Butter London and this is Trout Pout. This is in their stick form. It's called the Lippy Bloody Brilliant. <laughs> and I used to work for, uh, my old boss was from Australia and he used to say bloody all the time. <laughs> I just find that hilarious. Um, but it's called the, yeah, the Lippy Bloody Brilliant Lip Crayon in, in Trout Pout. And I actually have a couple products from Butter London, and I don't hear a lot about them on YouTube. But I actually really like them. And this, um, I think it's called a lip crayon. So you take the cap off, and there is a sharpener. And I feel like if you guys can see that, I don't know why that's red. I sell tan today, and so I may look a little splotchy, so apologies. But anyways, the top is a sharpener. And then you kind of just grab it from here, and this is the actual color. And I realize that I haven't been swatching these for you guys, but I hope that's okay because I actually just put them on my lips so you can see what they actually look like. But this is a very bright coral pinky peach. I absolutely love this color. I've been trying to wear more brights lately, and this is a perfect kind of transition from the nude to the more brighter color. So, oops, that lid's coming off so it snaps. Um, but anyways highly recommend this color. It is a little bit brighter than the nudes, but I feel like it's perfect for spring. It's very bright and fresh and pretty looking, so I absolutely love it. It smells like mint. 
you just kind of like line line <laughs> you kind of line your lips with it and then fill it in and it goes on I would say it's less like a lipstick and more like a gloss but in crayon form if that makes sense um, so yeah, highly recommend this color, and I absolutely love this brand for lip products. If you guys haven't had a chance to check them out, please do, because they have very limited colors, but very beautiful colors. Okay guys, so my last pick is by Too Faced. I have it on right now. This is the uh, Too Faced Melted Metal, and I got mine in the color Debutante. It's um, a peachy pink with a gold kind of foiled metal look. I absolutely love this. I can picture wearing this with just like a very natural face of makeup and a very tanned skin and your lips will just pop. I don't have any lip liner on with it right now. I don't think you need lip liner. I think maybe it would help kind of define it just because it's so bright and shiny, but I don't think you need it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this color. There's probably six or seven in the whole Milton Metals line. This is the one that I kind of gravitated to because it's still on that nude side. Um, but this is a way to wear a nude lipstick that is the focus of your look. So a lot of times it's your eyes are the focus and you wear a nude lipstick to kind of make sure that it's not taking away from your eyes. But I feel just the opposite. You can wear a nude lipstick and have it be the focus and do it with the Milton Metals. This is my last pick and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful in some way and please if you haven't already subscribe and like this video give it a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it. I love you guys thank you so much for watching and until my next video